een heel leeg bivak achter mij. En dan komen heel langzaam al die service terug binnen. In het team van Robbie Gordon zijn dat twee enorme freightliners. We hebben ze al gezien en we gaan ze nog een keer van binnen bekijken. Als die eenmaal opgesteld staan, dan komt de man zelf binnen. Robbie Gordon met zijn auto. Nou, die heeft natuurlijk wel wat te lijden gehad op zo'n klassementsproef. Dus vragen we zijn chefmonteur, Bob Carroll, wat nou eigenlijk de eerste dingen zijn die ze doen zodra die auto terugkomt in het bivak. As soon as we get here, first thing we'll do is we'll put it up in the air. We'll give it a, a quick visual once over, put the car up in the air and check wheel bearings, uh, look for problems like leaking brakes, uh, stuff like that around the wheels and tires. And then we'll usually clean off all the bodywork and all the mud that happens from little off-track excursions. Um, today we're going to uh, help the officials. They want to check our car you know, a little more closely. Um, and we will uh, clean out the interior in case any rocks and gravel get in his seat. We want him as comfortable as possible. Um, then just do a general uh, once over on all the mechanicals and hopefully uh, try to get to bed before uh, midnight. Um, things like oil change and oil filter change, you do them once a rally or not at all? Um, no, we, we tend to change the oil every three days. Um, change the oil and filter every three days. System holds 12 quarts. Um, so we bring enough oil to, to change it probably five times during the rally. Um, just more, the engine could go the whole time, but we mainly want to look in the filters to find any uh, signs of deterioration. Um, fortunately, we've had no uh, issues with engines whatsoever, so that's been a very easy thing for us so far. When it gets gets here and, and Robbie says it's really broken, what has to be broken for you to give up? Nothing, absolutely nothing. Last year, uh, we had some, some problems with the engine where we uh, broke a header pipe, and then that, that broken header burned up couple plug wires when it came in it was smoking and popping and we thought oh we're done and we all started to give up and then we you know what hey let's look at it first and start looking at it and there's no internal engine damage all external stuff so we just fixed it all again and as last year we got third so it's it just shows us never give up even when it seems really bad last year Robbie had a rollover and damaged most of the left side bodywork um, still we find parts we can and make just make any kind of repairs that we can and usually, if it all goes well, get to bed before midnight. Yeah, it hasn't happened very often, but <clears throat> luckily we've got a good group of guys. Uh, Ricky, you see right there, and Johnny Miller, they, uh, they don't go to bed until everything's done. And so we kind of think about sleep last. And we have two other cars to work on after Robbie's is done. So we sometimes we get to go to bed at 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning, but we get to sleep on the drive, so not so bad.